And so what we learned last season, thanks to the comments, is they show the next qualifying phase before you play the first or the second one, right? We're showing the third qualifying phase before we play the second one so that you have time to scout as if we are going to do that. But let's find out, my friends, who we could potentially play if we somehow get past Sverna Sveta. I'm just going to say it fast. Uh, our old friends Ligia Vorsa or B-A-T-E Beresov. But I'm going to guess it's, yeah, here we go. All right, my friends, we travel 2,145 kilometers to this game. We are slightly favored. We're bringing our best squad. Tony Byrne, Gleason, Witty, Thompson, White on the deep line playmaker, just a little bit further back, right? We usually play middle roaming playmaker, but, you know, kind of hang back because we're away. Jason Byrne, Doyle, Edich, McPherson, Doolin, and Dempsey. On the bench, we got a right back, a center back, two midfielders, Demov and Hayes Ward. So Demov kind of covers the wings or the middle or the striker. And obviously we got Hayes Ward. So we are 24 games unbeaten, my friends, in all competitions. That might end today. And we're eight games without conceding. I think that's a league in league, but it was a record. So uh, uh, yeah, um, they didn't like that. They didn't like the continue on from last match. We were able to do all kinds of rotation against UCD. We would not actually played the Cork City game because the scheduling, it got moved. So we're playing literally like this game and then turn around and fly to Dublin and play them again. So from my standpoint, that's kind of nice because I can just, you know, record. And hopefully we move on to play BAT whatever, the other, not Ligia Vorsa. That'd be nice. Doyle, the Irish International plays it in. Daniel Thompson. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friends. That was quite nice. A little left peg there. He was quite far inside. I'm kind of curious as to how he got there. Is that him? Right there? Hello? 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 There it is. Oh, so with Doyle making the run, he comes over here and then... I mean, that is so difficult. The ball coming over and then you hit it with that leg? That's um, some... Some impressive timing. We have an early away goal. Three, what was it? Two minutes and 55 seconds into the match. We've got an away goal. Come on, boys. I'm good if it, if it ends. I was going to say 1 0 to us, but, you know, we'd like it to be like 5 0. We can rotate again. Give everybody a little taste of that Champions League stuff. Witty. Come and suck around. Oh, Jukes is man. Oh, Thompson is facing again. Heads it. Oh, mate, why didn't you use your left foot? I mean, maybe it was a little high for him, but adjust your run. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna intentionally go to set piece. Oh, time out. Time out. What happened? I love when they get injured, and it just doesn't... A potential groin injury. Is it... He suffered a pulled groin, but he should be able to play through it? Mm, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking not, actually. I, mean, I was going to see what happened with his, his physical percentage there. Physical condition. I, I can never remember what those things are called. Matt Sharpness, physical condition, yada, yada. Woody takes a touch. Okay, now that we've got two, there's no there's no need to risk him. Considering our backup left back is leaving, and we I'm kind of mad at him, and we've got a good center back on the bench, we're just going to say, mate, we got two. You got to pull groin. Let's not push it. Let's not risk you for the rest of the season. The last thing we want is like to rip his groin, right? So we'll take the goal. We'll take him off. Thanks for playing. Go rest it. You're good. We've got like a 20-point lead in the league. So I'm not worried about that. Um, literally, like a 20. Wait, there's like 20. We're like 20, 21 games in and we got a 20-point lead. It's pretty good. I think the, the the slide tackle there was a little unnecessary by Byrne, but it works. Tony Byrne brings that down expertly and then slots it home, and it's 3-0. I'm just saying. This is kind of nice. I was I was, I was was a little worried, like, in particular about this game, and obviously against the Javorsaw, because it's like, remember what I said? Hey, maybe we should just do a Europa League run, or like, try and win the Europa League, and then I was like, ah, uh, that might be a bad idea. Like, is that actually going to happen, right? Um, as in, like, are we not going to make it to the Champions League? Not getting group stage third place and then down. So, 
We definitely want Champions League group stage. We want the 15 million. Gleason, can he smash one home? Oh, just, just around the corner. Look at the ratings. Burn, I feel like, is still a little bit off. Uh, Jason, not Tony. Tony is amazing and rocking everyone's face off. But, like, everyone else is, is doing really well. Maybe it's the fact he's playing, a, a, like, a holding midfielder, essentially, for us. That was, a, that was beautiful. We are playing beautiful football. Again, I know we don't have the league loaded. But I don't care who you're playing. Like, this is just nice. Like, Gleason cuts in. Plays it out wide, into space, draws both center backs. This guy realizes, oh wait, I shouldn't have probably gone that far. But either way, he was probably going to mark Tony Byrne, who was making a run. So, it's just delicious. I mean, it really is just delicious. Really. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot. Well, who is he? Who are you crossing to, mate? Is that? Who is that? Gleason? Else? Oh, okay, I thought that was Doolin. Mm, a little tall. Okay, that'll work. Sure. Again, I'm gonna try and leave these guys in a little bit longer because again, the next game is the 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 home leg, so it's not like we've got a league game in two days. Now that's coming in August. It's like every two or three days, and so that's where the likes of Aaron Brennan and 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 all those guys are gonna start playing a lot more. Tony Byrne one on one with the keeper. No contest. I think Tony Byrne has taken the mantle from Gary Hayes Ward. Gary, I mean, Gary wanted a rotation contract, so hopefully he understands. We're not going to watch every goal because there's so many. <laughs> um, but he's done, he's, he's done well. And he's actually rated now on the national team by our scouts, by our national team scouts, I should say. This is just ridiculous. This is just silly. Um... What do I do? Do I record the next part of the episode? What what do we do there? Um, but anyway, he's rated as like our maybe our fourth best striker. Like he's above Adam Ida right now. Tony Byrne, that's amazing. So, Ooh. oh, we 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 want a clean sheet, boys. We want a clean sheet. Let's go ahead. We will make a summage here. Um, goodness me, look at. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just silly. We'll rest Gary Gleason and bring on Demov. And then, um, er, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine, he says, you know, hoping no one else get, gets injured, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, smash it, smash it, double smash it. Off the rebound. McPherson, I get I don't... I mean, it, it, has there been the episode yet where that first happened and I asked for your thoughts on that? I don't remember. But is that an actual assist? If if you take a shot and it deflects, it's blocked, and it falls to your teammate, that's not an assist. That's not an intention. He didn't intentionally bang it off of the defender there. Right? Like, why is that counted as an assist? Am I wrong? It just seems like an assist is like, I intentionally passed it to somebody and they scored. Not, I was the last player to touch the ball on my team, no matter what happened, as long as it wasn't a goalkeeper. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We are putting this to bed in the first leg, my friends. It is seven freaking nil. They will have to score. If we score one, they'd have to score eight in Dublin. So now I'm left with a conundrum. We're eight minutes into this video. I'm just going to say passionate. Very happy. Yes. Anytime you can tell the player of the match to get him from delighted to extremely delighted, I try and do that. That's just me. It, Shakhtar beat NK Maribor 7 1. Staryan uh, uh -huh, beat College Europa. Convenient name. So I was, I was looking to see if we had the, the highest. Oh, no. Uh, goal tally. Um, let me think for a second. I guess we'll do it because we're going to play Robinson Flynn. Slavin will get another start out. Sean Murphy, Eros, Coleman getting a start. Derek Conway from our, our under-19 team 
getting a, a start. Hristo will come out on the left. We've also got Aaron Brennan, Sean Sweeney that we'd like to get in. So I guess we'll do it because I just don't, I don't want to give you a like a ten minute episode. So let's well, let's go. I forgot to mention this. Our under 19s made the Euro semifinal and they just won over Belgium's under 19s. So go on, lads. None of which I know. I should probably look at these and go like, mm, time to start cap tying. Like this guy right back. Hello. This is just awesome. Sean Sweeney's on a 10.0. Daryl Devine's on a 10.0. Stephen Coleman's on a 9.45. Our young lads are enjoying our upgraded facilities. Look at that. Mm. These oh, they're they're gonna be pushing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's two to get big jump from two star to three and a half star, but like Patrick Slavin is rated above Edich right now by our tactical coach. That's concerning, actually. All right, our under 19s beat Romania, won the under 19 Euros. None of them are ours, so it's like we're building up that no, it has nothing apparently to do with us. You know, I find it difficult at times when you're looking at potentially loaning players, especially how our schedule's set up. That's what makes it so hard. Like, look at this. Three days, three days, three days, three days, four days. Ooh, four days, three days, three days, four days, and then a break, right? So we have a bunch of games, and I had options to loan out Aaron Brennan on a rotation, which I didn't really love. Um, Eros on a first-team contract, which I didn't really love, but, like... At least he'd be getting potentially first team playing time. Um, and then Derek Conway on a key player contract. But I'm like, we've got the best facilities, I think, now in the country. And we're going to win the league. Right? We got a 17 point lead and three games in hand. Um, so I'm kind of like, I, I want to have these guys play more, you know? Like, we got Champions League that we're going to be running through. If we, just look at last season, right? Starting in just say August first, right? A whole bunch of games to play. I feel like we're gonna be able to use them. So it was kind of gutting because I'm like, I, I want to loan you, but at the same time, not really, you know. Um, so this is how we line up today. Hold on just a second. So we've got Hayes Ward, Conway, Coleman, Demoff. So essentially, these two are. Not rookies, but, like, they're the younger guys on the squad. Eros is a 20-year-old. Slavin and Flynn just to get him some playing time. Dempsey, Erich, Robinson. Erich having to cover the left back because of, uh... Dean Doyle had, a, like, a nagging little injury. So we're hoping that Erich can go the full distance. He's at 96% because we don't really have another left back. Doolin could come in, I guess, in a bind. But I, I want to give these guys... Playing opportunities, obviously Hayes Ward. We got Brennan on the bench to bring in Sweeney, Russell. These guys need more playing time for Matt Sharpness, and they're on first team contracts. And and I know people are like, you carry too many players, and that, that's probably true. But I also like this is like the first season I feel like we've carried too many too many players, and I like having for the back half of the season. Maybe I should do more first half of the season loans, um, but I like having the squad available. Um, And I, I think our facilities are the best. So I know it's like a balance between playing time and facilities, but you got like basic facilities and you get all the playing time, but you're not part of the squad and it's not helping you from a mentality standpoint. Like we've had a bunch of those green er green arrows for our young guys because they're here. They're around the squad, right? So um, we signed Dempsey to an extension. He only wanted like a 200 a week raise, and I did it for like three or four years as a hot prospect. That'll probably change. He's essentially the first teamer, right? Like, Janido did complain a little bit about playing time, so we're, we're at the point of the season now where that's not going to be a problem because we're going to play him in league games and let Dempsey take the Champions League and all that kind of stuff. But I'm quite happy about that. Um, okay, Robinson. Hey, miss, is it Mr. Robinson? Yeah, 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 it is, right? Okay. Who's he got? He's got Demov, who heads it right at the keeper. Would have been easier to go to, to that corner right there. Anyway, I was hoping Hayes Ward was going to ping that off his face right there. That was a nice little touch there. Hello, Murphy, the red-headed legend. Oh, Hayes Ward. Stephen Coleman has a Champions League 
assist, my friends. That's got to be good for your development, right? Good for your confidence in your development. We don't need to watch all the highlights. I, I mean, we do have an 8, eight mil aggregate lead. They'd have to score 9 now to beat us. So, But I, I actually just saw a comment today because, I'm again, I'm recording several in advance because I'm... Oh, okay. Uh, I was like, what? Um, quite busy this month, so I'm trying to get record in bunches and get a bunch of episodes uploaded and, uh, you know, scheduled and edited and probably do the editing first. But, you know, um, for those of you that have been wondering, my head is a lot, a lot better. I'm like 99% now. Um, so we, we're going to go with, oh, okay, hold on. We're going to go with Derek Conway scoring his first, I think, ever Champions League goal. I think he's 17. I'm glad we kept him. Um, so we're going to go with the thing that it was probably a viral uh, what, vestibular neuritis, which is a causes inflammation in your inner ear, which causes your balance to get all thrown off. So feel feel much better. Um, so thanks for all the folks that have asked in Discord and, and comments and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Again, uh, I, I said this the other day when we hit 5,000 subscribers, which is crazy, that I feel really thankful for the community that we built. Like, again, I, I think I said this in the last episode, but, you know, like, we, it's not like I had one video and I got a bunch of subscribers. Like, this has been, a, this has been, I don't want to say a grind, like, I enjoy playing Football Manager, but there are times where, I, right, and you guys have seen it and I've talked about it, where it's like, oh, this is hard, or should we keep doing this from a, from this safe standpoint, whatever. Um but the support is just amazing. So if you're not in the Discord, make sure you check out the, the link in the description below. Great little community. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. So I'm excited for Football Manager 20. I, I, I'd love to hear your ideas. What, what do you want to... This is going to be more of a talk because we're winning. They have to beat us by 10 goals now and they have yet to score yet. Um, what do you want to see in FM20? Other than I, I, I'm still working on the manager experiment. That is coming. I promise that's coming. I just have a busy July. So I'm trying to like get all this series taken care of in terms of pushing out as many episodes as possible before I focus on that. But what do you want to see? Do you want to see another, you know, X Kids in Five Continents series? Do you want to see um, another Journeyman? Do you want to see a Building a Nation? Like this, I've enjoyed this. We had a couple dips, but I've enjoyed this, so would love to hear your thoughts there. I mean, I really don't know who we would sub in. Divine for Flynn, maybe. Cleared away, Patrick Slavin. I thought Demov was going to lunge him from behind. Marky Markovic, that's what the M, you know that's what the M was for. That's a nice goal. We've conceded for the first time in like 10 games. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not... Uh, you know, we've we've crushed some people's confidence. Now we're complacent. Mm, can't have complacency. Can't have complacency. I'm just gonna say keep it up, boys. I mean... Yeah. I'd like to take Frank off, but we don't really have the option to do that. That's kind of impressive, I think. I mean, it's I know you, different coaches have different different opinions of players, but the fact that one of our coaches thinks Patrick Slavin's better than Erich, I mean, Erich is versatile, right? He can play the left back for us as well, so I'm not. It's not like I'm super concerned. Let's go ahead and take Flynn out and bring on Daryl Divine. That that might be your center back part, partnership of the future, right? These guys are 18. Chef's kiss. Um, we're gonna bring in Sweeney and play him in the Demov role, so we can keep Demov is good, right? Not that these other guys aren't good, but we don't want him getting injured. Um, and we're going to bring on Aaron Brennan. We're going to do the coveted. The one that everyone loves. The triple subage, my friends. In the 62nd minute. Took a minute. And we're going to, for the first time in the game, demand more. Oh, it hasn't gone through yet. Let's see what happens here. A little disappointed about conceding. Good save. Nice volley. Good save. Great football. We're playing at Shamrock River Stadium. We're not actually playing at uh, the Aviva. That's got to be insulting. Hey, thanks for coming to use our place to play your Champions League games. <laughs> 
Oh, man. I just think that's funny. I mean, I, yeah. I just think that's funny. In the future, eventually, someday, we'll have a stadium big enough. Hopefully. I'm hoping that as we go through this season, we get to see that like we have put a down payment on the construction of our stadium. Until that happens, I'm like really hesitant. I want there's been some players I want to buy, but I've been really hesitant to do that because I don't want to spend any money on transfers. Oh, great sliving, sliving, sliving tackle by by divine by sliving. All right, boys. This is this is good for Dempsey, right? He's on a seven point one. He's getting he's getting some shots at him. They've had two quicker chances and two half chances. He's had one go in, so he knows he's not at the top of his game as an eighteen year old, you know. But we still get the victory. Conway comes in, gets the player of the match, goes the full 90, gets the goal. Coleman gets the assist. It's a youth revolution here, my friends. It's a youth revolution. Those shareholders are going to be happy when they get their dividend payments. That's all I'm saying. 9-1 on aggregate. Oh, they almost did it. Oh, we still have to play Legion or so. Oh, but it was close. Wow, a 4-0 away to a 3-0 opposite. We still don't have the league loaded. Look at the how much they pay their folks. That's crazy. Get team report. Uh, Goggin is our chief scout, I think. We'll send him. Makes sense. Um, I think, my friends, I think he's going to be a good one. I think he's going to be a good one. We've rearranged all the matches. Hello, Time to start grinding. Hit that like button. Really appreciate you watching. I really do. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, I don't have the little pop-ups anymore. People found them annoying. So I'm, I'm trying a different tactic here where I don't have the things that, you know, the like button thing used to pop up right here and over there was like the subscribe button and the Patreon thing. But if you're interested in supporting the channel, if you've enjoyed 150 plus episodes of content and you're like, hey, I want to drop you some coin, there's two ways you can do that. One, you can uh, join the Discord and send me a PM and ask me for my PayPal address. I really don't prefer that, but that that is a way if you're like, hey, I don't want to go through all the rigmarole with Patreon. The easiest way is to join Patreon. You can pledge for one month and and you know, put in a buck or two or whatever, um, and then drop it. That's totally fine. Or you can just keep watching and hit the like button. So I'm not trying to pander to you, but if you've enjoyed all these episodes and you want to say thanks, those are some ways you can do it. We'll see you next time as we take on the DJ Versa. All right. Bye-bye.